Hey everybody, Lev Farmer Serving 3 here. Got a quick tip for you. I noticed that a lot of my fruit has not been getting eaten by the squirrels. Um, I harvested some peaches yesterday. I got, I got a nice amount of peaches this year for what it's worth. But I noticed didn't have too many squirrel bites in it. And I haven't been seeing squirrels hopping across the yard with my food in their mouth, right? I did something a little while ago to help to help the geese. And, you know, we got a lot of wild geese around here that lay down in our yard all day long. I set out squirrel traps because I was scared that the, the squirrels would start taking all my fruit off my trees. I haven't caught one squirrel. Not one. Me? I haven't caught one squirrel because I did something else different. And it wasn't intention. I mean, it, it, it wasn't intentional. <clears throat> this, earlier this spring, I set out, if you guys remember, last year when I was teaching, well, told you how to do the the rolling the pecans, you can find them in your neighborhood, or if you have pecan trees, the easy way to get them up with the roller, like this. Show you how well this thing works. That's the nut right there. All you gotta do is roll over it, and it's in it's in the bucket. Here's one. So all you're doing is just rolling around, just like this. Next thing you know, you got nuts. Every now and then you miss one, just go back, roll it back over. Really get in there. So this house has a lot of good sized pecans in it. So there you go, folks. Now look, whole big batch of nuts for you right there. See that? All fresh pecans. That only took what? A minute, two minutes? That worked so good. I told you guys, I end up getting like eight, nine, ten of these bags. I showed them to you, right? Tell me that thing don't work. If this don't convince you that it worked, I'm going to show you I'm a real pecan pirate. Check that out. Every day, I bring a bag home. Every day. And it only takes me about five minutes to do this. Five minutes. Five minutes of work of using that roller. I've cracked hundreds of pecans. Hundreds of pecans. I can't crack no more. So until I get some kind of machine to help me crack all these pecans, I figure I don't want them to go to waste. So I set them out here in the yard. I'm going to show you right now. I set a bunch of them, a big bag of them right here in this pile. And what I can see right now is they are gone. This was a huge pile of nuts <laughs> that I set out. Got here. <laughs> Imagine two bags Got of those. <laughs> here, they're gone. And every five minutes this morning, I'm looking out, I see squirrels running back and forth, back and forth to get these nuts. Got it! Right across my peaches that I just harvested. They're running right across my apple trees. Some of my apples is dangling right here. Right? They're running right past those. I got an apple even right here. They're not messing with it. They're coming to the nuts. So I'm thinking if you set out enough food for them until our trees get big enough to um, share with the animals, I think this is my, this may be the next best solution is to bait your area and give, set out some food for them. For instance, here's my squirrelinator trap. Empty. Empty. So what I'm going to have to do is just keep baiting everything up. And that way, they'll leave my food empire alone.
So this is it, you guys. Pecan Pirate. You can do it too, just to show you how big it is. Don't get that one little round ball one. It is really small. That's not the one you want. You want the one that's shaped like a football. Because that one holds a lot of nuts. Okay? That little one is really, 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 really small. And uh, most people end up sending that one back like this guy. Don't get that one. This is the one you want because it pick up more and it holds more instead of you having to keep on emptying it out. And to empty it out, all you do, you literally just open that up like that. There's no mechanism or nothing. You just open your springs and they pop right back in place. You empty it out like this. Grab it, open your springs up, dump them out that simple, and you start right back all over again. So I'm thinking... If we give the pests more of what they want, squirrels, the cost is not worth what we're going to lose. So, I didn't have to fight no squirrels for this this year. All because I was trying to save the geese. So, from now on, I'm going to see how well it works with me collecting nuts every year and putting around. Now, when my pecan trees really go off, I really won't have no problem. So, we'll see what happens. All right, Left Farm 73, I love you, and I'm out.